Yesterday, December 7th, 1941. Well, I think the big thing is to remember what happened, how it came about. Through a partnership with Veterans United Home Loans, we are streaming the ceremony live to partnering museums and the public on the mainland. We are now able to bring Pearl Harbor to you. The National Park Service hosted an interactive Google Plus Hangout with some of our survivors here and World War II veterans at six different locations and to recognize the sacrifices made by those brave men and women who survived. They are indeed, as Tom Brokaw has said, the greatest generation. This is the 72nd year since I was out there in the middle of the Pacific. A date which will live in infamy. I was at home in Honolulu on a weekend pass. December 7th, I was lying in my bunk enjoying a restful Sunday. Something's wrong, we don't train on Sunday. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. The plane come by real low, had a big red ball on it big torpedo underneath, so I knew right away this was no drill. The Oklahoma, the um, Arizona was enveloping flames. The attack yesterday on the Hawaiian Islands has caused severe damage to American naval and military forces. I picked up only 46 people. Some were dead already, some badly wounded, some badly burned. Those petty officers, the second class and above, had to go out in motor launches and pick the bodies out of the oil. It was probably the worst thing that ever happened to me, is doing that. As Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Navy, I have directed that all measures be taken for our defense, but always will our whole nation Remember the character of the onslaught against us. That attack was what brought the, our nation together. You know, a lot of people call us heroes, but I think the real heroes are the 2,403 men who died that day and 1,177 of my shipmates aboard the USS Arizona.